Uh, my talk will be on the use of ITG for sentinel lymph node biopsy in early breast cancer. I wanted to show you this one from Italy. Uh, so it's a publication in uh, EJSO in 2013, a prospective non-inferiority study. They conclude that ICG is not inferior to technetium for SLN detection and they conclude that ICG can be used alone. So the ICG for detection in early breast cancer of the sentinel lymph node is feasible, it is accurate and safe and it is cheap. The, the ICG in lymphedema, that is even more important because nowadays you cannot do a lymphedema surgery with the ICG. So we do the fluorescence uh, imaging to find the lymphatics we, which we cannot find without any kind of imaging. You need to have ICG, you need to have a proper device, uh, otherwise you shouldn't do lymphatic surgery. But when you do the imaging and you see something, the ICG is not going to lie. So you see how far you can take your flap and how far you can take it safely. The fluorescence brings you the real vascular territory. And you see that the distal part of the skin paddle are not well vascularized and you will know by this way exactly which part of the skin paddle you will have to remove. So what are the interests of the fluorescence imaging? The first one for me is to assess the deep and superficial uh, angiosome. We'll, uh, we also check the vascular anastomosis and the flap fair fusion with the system. And very important, at the end of the procedure we assess the cutaneous flap after the skin uh, sparring mastectomy. Again, you know, you can design your flap in, a, in, the, in the perfect, you know, in the perfect way because you know exactly, you, know, you can see here, some that area is, is, uh, is dark and it means that it's not going to be, even sometimes there is not a total skin necrosis in that area, you have fat necrosis that is also a problem and you can know all of this in, a, in a, during the surgery and this is essential. This is a nice um, picture too, to see how precise could be uh, uh, the fluid uh, beam and to see uh, the little um, connection on the um, uh, very, very small vessels. So in my institution now, endocene in dosian in green and flu fluorescence, it's used for in routine for uh, micro uh, surgery, breast reconstruction, and mastectomy flap monitoring, especially with ADM.